My best friend and I send each other thanks, I hate this gifts. This was his most recent gift. <laughs> Don't smile with your teeth while wearing this, please. This Godzilla costume from the 80s. Oh, that, why is that stuffed right up there in the corner? That thing deserves to be in a museum. But also, okay, could you imagine just turning the light on and this thing being right there in your corner? Excuse me, I'm having a child here. I'd request some privacy. Yeah, hey, what's up? I'm baby Godzilla. Open wide. Come inside. Come inside. Not gonna lie, I'm very impressed with myself for achieving that voice. Yeah. Robot Nursery. My first attempt at digital art back in 2004. I will never be able to create something this disturbing ever again. Okay, but why are you saying as if it's a depressing thing? I mean, I can see that being a talent, but also I, I don't want it to be. <laughs> Oh, the shading, it just makes it even more uncomfortable. The blackness in that fox's eyes. Oh, come on, Jessica, don't be afraid. Look, I have hair just like you. I sculpted it off a little boy who wouldn't play along. And then there's the giant Buddha bear that looks like it's playing with a baby with a head that looks like it belongs to an 80-year-old. Oh, we're just going to ignore all the glaring red zombie eyes up on the ceiling there. Okay, yeah, no, nah, that's cool. I mean this in the most sincere full way. I am so glad you lost this talent. This tree with money in it. Oh, it's destructive to the environment and a waste of money. <laughs> Go humanity. We, we really know how to just make no sense, don't we? Unless this is some good luck cultural thing. Okay, I can, I'll respect it for that. I'll still find it ridiculous. It's like putting a bunch of bike locks over an ancient European bridge. Like why? Why? Small green alien being born in my garden. Oh God, stop. Uh, I'm not even, okay, I play Dead Space. How do I find this disgusting to look at? Seriously, Brain, if you could just make sense for me, that'd be great, thanks. Oh, cool, someone's doing little shadow puppets with the x-ray scan. <laughs> oh no, it's actually a nightmare. Who needs to be afraid of head crabs when you can be afraid of hand crabs? Seriously, imagine the pimp slapping power of this hand. Jack Nicholson's Joker makeup. So fun fact, to save money on the prosthetics and for Jack Nicholson to feel like he was really in the performance, he'd actually get like bee serum, like the sting, and inject it into his cheek so that they'd puff out. Both makes it look more natural and also the pain helps him tap into his insanity performance. Now what you might not notice too though is I'm full of Schmidt. I was told this belongs here. Ladybugs. Now ladybugs, they're not terrifying. How could that belong here? Oh wow, that, no, no, that's not terrifying. That's overwhelming. <laughs> Why are they all grouped together though? Are they like, is it appropriate for us to be taking photos of them? A lightning bolt hits water so close you can see its streamers. Hey, cover yourself up, you exhibitionist. We can see your streamers. Uh, honestly, everyone these days is so unconservative. What a lobstrosity. Oh, uh, uh, no, no. I was expecting it to be just a creepy looking lobster. I, no. What made you think this was a good idea? Full face swimming mask from 1928. Aw, nightmare fuel. Though I'm pretty sure some women these days still wear wear these for like religious reasons, so I mean it's it's still around. Unsatisfied MILFs be like, We buy men used! 29 and up! Oh no, my kid discovered the baby monitor. Mother! Ah! Mother, I require sustenance! <laughs> I know! Just no with everything here right now. No to the muscular man, no to the Cabbage Patch Kid who's clearly not grown into their outfit, and just no to that dirty fan. Ugh. I know some people thirst for us narrators, but that is just disgusting. This guy's like if the colossal titan was an abnormal. <laughs> Who accessed my home security cameras? I'm, I'm having an existential crisis there, okay? Please don't highlight it. Better you know what they say about big shoes. Big clock. Antarctica scale worms. You lad you scared you could get there. What the hell is that? That is not from Earth! That is not from Earth! I don't even- uh, There is no scientific reason for this thing to exist on Earth. That is clearly a porcupine space worm. God damn it, humanity. Why do we keep some things we shouldn't discover? If dogs had romance novels, he'd be on the cover. Well, there you go, folks. If you're a furry and you want to get your estranged and slightly lonely mom to understand you a bit better, there you go. Ha ha ha! Mom, I'm thirsty. Can I have some Nestle Pure Life water? <laughs> Thanks, Mom. Outlets at my Airbnb in the USA. Hey, ladies, tell me a lot of men have lived here without telling me a lot of men have lived here. 
<laughs> it's because they can't find it. This is how they take a passport picture for a baby. Wait, you need passports for babies now? Has this always been a thing? Okay, well, now that I think about it, yeah, look, trafficking probably would help is why. Still, I can't... <laughs> it's just... Oh, it's adorable. <laughs> Underside of Victoria Amazonica's lily pad, up to 200 centimeters in diameter. Satisfying and terrifying at the same time. Veiny alien plant flesh. I think this is just further proof as to how much Mother Nature nails it as an architect. Hang that baby up and you got an umbrella for days. Rest in peace, Rango. Oh no! No, oh, please tell me they shed their skin. Please. Oh, that Bonopi's rib cage or something. Oh, that's so oh, horrible. No. <laughs> Not a Photoshop, but a completely red sky in Yaki Yakutia due to smoke from a massive forest fires that blotted out the sun. Taken at about 3.30 local time. I'm sorry. No, you were clearly stuck in a Minecraft realm and that is a blood moon. Don't bother going to bed. It won't work anymore. Just bunker down and just dig down two, three blocks of dirt and just hide. The remains of this caribou in Greenland. Oh, oh, dude, what a way to go out. No. Oh, I guess he was just hanging around a little too long. <laughs> no, it's horrible. This is disgusting. This giant sand sculpture, especially the bear. Oh, no. Someone actually would have paid for this. <laughs> the lion. The lion. I the giraffe is just like, ah, I wasn't really ready for the photo. Oh, no. <laughs> that elephant is like your creepy uncle who doesn't know boundaries. The zebra is definitely on drugs. I'm sorry, but was the commission for them to look as horrifying as possible, but smiling about it? Just the lion seems like the only one who's self-aware of how horrible this all looks. I'm the only one who thinks it looks like someone came to peep through my glass door because I'm honestly kind of scared. Oh, nice. That's technically fresh, warm handprints too. Anyway, good morning. Enjoy sleeping tonight. I took that picture of the upside down sharks and put red eyes on them. Why, why did you do this? Why did you think this was a good idea? You know, anyway, it actually makes them look less terrifying and more like they're about to do some epic anime move. Though at least the sharks look a bit more happier for once. This toy horse I found with its skin peeling off. Oh, oh boy, I can't wait. <laughs> yeah, you know what? It actually looks more natural without the obviously fake fur. I mean, it doesn't help that it's like stiffened up with a giant picking it up like that. When the hand soap container has a surprise underneath. Ugh, nah, nah, I hate the creepy crawlies. I am... Um, I don't have a phobia, I just... Uh, uh, that is actually scientific terminology for it. If you don't understand it, well, that's your problem. Squid beak! God damn, that... Frick. Why do they have beaks? Birds have beaks. Squids don't fly. Stop trying to be something you're not. Don't listen to them, squid. Don't you be what you want to be. Let you follow your dreams, man. And so the squid did follow his dreams, despite the stupid ramblings of an idiot on the internet. And after grueling years of effort, he too finally became a pilot. Only to immediately crash a plane because he realized he actually doesn't have the appendages to fly a plane. Oddly surreal, yet this makes me uneasy. This is giving me some weird Doctor Who vibes. Namely because it's terrible CGI. Oh wait, it's, oh my god, is that a woman? Oh, oh right, yeah, this is kind of terrifying. I didn't realize they existed. Suspicious pumpkin pie will haunt your dreams. Not as much as the lack of pee in your pumpkin. That, okay, that actually sounds like something completely different. Yeah, no, I'm sorry, Mr. Pumpkin Pie. I, I, yeah, that was a really weird thing to say. I apologize. Don't, please stop looking at me like that. Would you swim in there? I would not, because there are no lights, and I've played enough of that slender game to not really find comfort in going into dark hallways. Freshwater eels. Imagine swimming through here at night. Oh, stop. You had me nope at eels. Why are there so many? But also, why are they so cute? That, what? No. Okay, hold up. Why would you want to imagine swimming here at night? I'm sorry, but that is a lot of big, large, black, fleshy, oh, I see. I think I found a tick or scorpion love child in my office. I've got the best of both worlds. So, um, the local dentist's office went in an unsettingly horny direction with its advertising. Oh, oh yeah. brush me. Oh, brush tickle me. me with those brush bristles. Me. Oh, I'm minting. Yeah, maybe get rid of the feet. It's implying something completely different with those things. We have a mimosa tree in our garden where two sections were morphing together 
and years ago, our granddaughter put one of her old Barbie dolls in the hole in between the limbs, and she's been there almost a decade now, and the tree has nearly consumed her. We call it the Barbie tree. This is not a creative gardening idea. Also, this just makes me think of all the possible bodies out there that have been consumed by trees. Also, what do you put in your hair, Barbie? Ten years in the elements and it still looks so spick and shine. <laughs> What's your secret? When sperm whales need a nap, they take a deep breath, dive down about 45 feet, and arrange themselves into perfectly level vertical patterns. They sleep sound and still for up to two hours at a time between breaths, in pods of five or six whales, presumably for protection. So like, who decides who gets to stay in the middle most, you know, for the sake of the protection? Like, do whales have some sort of hierarchy for those who get to get the most protection here? I'm curious, who's the mafia boss of the spermy whales? Ah, exactly what I like to see and witness as I'm looking down while taking a dump in the toilet. A drowned body. What can I say? It helped scare the schmidt out of me. My cousin put a red curtain and over the window. Ba -ba -da -ba 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 sex dungeon. Face to face with a blue shark. He's not blue. Okay, he's pretty blue. That's not necessarily oddly terrifying. He actually looks kind of cute. This big eye grandelier. Grandelier. Is there some camera trickery going on, or is that eyeball actually the size of a baseball? Because that is seriously scary. Holy crap, I'm looking into hell. <laughs> Result of snow and grime on a moving tire. <laughs> no, that's a road urchin. Come on. A whole riddled bear for sale on my local marketplace. I'm trying to figure out what the hell this thing is for. Not my image, but apparently appeared after the rain in Sydney. Oh my god. Are those witchetty grubs? Really tiny ones? Ugh. The sleep paralysis demon sitting on your chest at night? I don't know, dude. Unhealthy choices looks pretty sick. I actually had this poster in my elementary school and I always thought it was the dumbest thing I'd ever seen. This creepy, sleepy smile. Oh, he's having a good dream though, you know what I'm saying? This trash can. Can't decide if it's oddly terrifying or just regular terrifying. Yeah, I can't. No, I can't. I totally know. It's just regular terrifying. It's odd. Sure, but the fact that it's terrifying is not odd in and of itself. It's just gross and scary. This elementary school during the summer. <laughs> no, no, no thank you. Someone left this in front of my door after trying to open it by force. Well, that one's a thinker, I'll admit. The sink in my boyfriend's house is like a gateway to hell. Yeah, I don't know what this sink is used for. Is it the one for like the laundry, like in a creepy dungeon basement or something? Do it. Turn around. Wendy's watching. Wendy is always watching. She's watching me go to McDonald's. Suck it. Ooh! I think I finally got her back. This picture of Godzilla is difficult for me to look at. Yeah, you're not alone in that one, bud. It's very, very rare when a photograph is able to make me actually run cold with fear. Like, my adrenaline just kicked in. I don't feel right after looking at this. The fingers of a gorilla with vitilig vitiligo? Vit 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 that is something, I gotta say. That is oddly terrifying. School art project. It's Ariana Grande, by the way. Oh, now I see it. Yeah, yeah, I totally get it. Although there's no donuts for her to be licking around, so not quite accurate. Mysterious statue head in the forest. I'm gonna go ahead and refuse to believe there's legitimately a statue this well kept sitting out in the forest somewhere. Can you imagine stumbling upon that? Haha, <laughs> sorry for the phone camera, but... Why did I suddenly wake up in Silent Hill? Ah, the fog's not thick enough, <clears throat> and it's not raining any ash. Come on! My dog pulled this hot dog on a stick out of the dirt in my front yard today. At first, I thought it was some kind of body part, but it's definitely a hot dog. Oh, God. Beavis and Butthead Island Boys. Gross. That's just, that's just really gross. How could you make them weirder? Handsome Jack, my centipede, almost ran up my sleeve the other day. Why do you have him? And why are you letting him on your body like that? This picture of Kanye West after Donda, Don, Donda, Donda 2's listening party. Oh yeah, he's cracked, man. He's completely cracked. Just keeping an eye on ya. Yeah? Is that all you're doing? Are you sure? A real-life version of Donkey Kong that played out in Japan. Is it a real-life version of Donkey Kong? I feel like I remember that game a little bit differently than most people, but then again, I have bad memory, so... This is a Demodex. They live on your face, and you can see them in your eyelashes. Ooh, spooky. Yeah, dude, your body is full and covered with living things, all right? 
it's just the cross we bear forever. The lights look like eyes. Um, not really, though. This is just a normal photo. But good try, good try. You got the spirit. Well, the Cutco mascot will forever haunt me. Yo, he's a fat bastard. What in the hell is this place? What's this for? I gave it eyes, but the weird snow monster mouth was right outside my door, so I had to. This is an Australian moth. It can also fly. That thing flies near me, it's over. As in I'm going to do something to myself to make sure that I can't see it coming towards me. My neighbor's black cat staring at me. Dude, my cat does the same thing. He's not a black cat, he just stares right into my eyes, like he's trying to win some kind of competition. Hey, what the hell is this? Bought for a cute new doll, I finished, and it fits perfectly. It's such a cute print, and was shipped very fast for a custom item. He looks so cute in it. Yeah. Doing some house hunting. This house is also in the middle of nowhere. Many people have died in that house, and I wouldn't recommend buying it. The- oh god, the Odeon? The Odeon? The- yeah, this is actually terrifying. This isn't oddly terrifying, this is just regular terrifying. This orangutan, damn, look at them teeth. He could you up. This panda bear that was on Antiques Roadshow. Aw, he's old and tattered and cute. You leave him alone. This parasite found in my friend's blood. Oh, sorry for your loss. Me at Chuck E. Cheese for my sixth birthday in 1988. Oh, come on. He was never that scary. It was the animatronics that were scary. Picture from a children's book. Jabberwocky. Oh, yeah, grody. Pixar planes in real life. Hey, um, I do need help. What the hell am I looking at? I was trying to get a cute photo of them playing and I got this instead. You know that's the best photo you're ever gonna get of either of them. This bottle cap that twisted off fully intact that looks like a tiny monster with razor sharp teeth. Mmm, delightful. This sink at my school. What? Something about this makes my skin crawl. Oh, they're baby birds. Yeah, they look horrifying, dude. There's no reason this cat should be so freaky, but the small body just looks wrong. Aww, they got a big head. What's wrong with that? Skeleton Panda Sea Squirts. That sure is a cute name for these. This tree stump on the outer banks of North Carolina. Photo by Stephen Fowler. That's not a tree stump, that's an eldritch monster. A tree sculpture, I hate it. It's between some gardens and I have to go this way because it's the shortest way to the gym. At night, I have to use my phone light because it's so dark there and I always struggle not to look at it. So don't worry about it, man. Don't worry about it. Good drawing, bad vibes. Nightmare fuel. Another one found at r slash, hmm. Those are all spiders. Daddy long legs form a big cluster of them in the wild to stay warm. Or, I think that's why. Good God. Is someone in that tent? Actually, it doesn't look like it. Never mind. Just get away from it, dude. I'm sorry. I'm not... Pack it in, pack it out. No, that rule doesn't apply. When this happens, Goodwill is doing some creepy sh** with their decorations. Was this around Halloween, or is this just every day there? The medieval fart trumpet. Some say you can still hear the ancient farts rattling around the place. <laughs> that always creeped me out. I mean, what else were we supposed to do back then for these giant castles, right? Just imagine if that's how we did it now. We dig a giant 30-foot hole and poop in it forever. Milkwalker says, be safe. Be sure you know your full name, the address where you live, the city you live in, your home telephone number, and your blood type. Mildred the Crocklebarg, an old underwater animatronic from somewhere in the early 2000s. Still going to this day. Oh, oh, I hate it. Why does this exist? This is not a thing anyone ever asked for. Don't you dare take me to the vet. Don't you freaking dare. Beware of dog. Sup. Results of foot binding. Ew. Oh, no. No, 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 no. We stayed a night at a creepy B&B where the host looked like between Charles Manson and Santa Claus. I took this photo right before we went to bed. Huh. Amazing how there's no more posts from this OP ever. Skull cake. Catherine Day, founder of Deviant Desserts, combines her love for art, anatomy, and desserts by creating amazingly realistic cakes. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh my god! Squidward, look! We're a car! When your cat is secretly a fifth dimensional elder god! What do you mean secretly? Every- Are you guys not aware cats are elder beings? My god, I thought I was the blind one! The top map shows mysterious cases of people vanishing without a trace. The bottom map shows America's largest cave systems. <laughs> I hate it. Baby Bell Cheese, the unblinking red eye of a demon god! A cheese so powerful, they cage it twice. In wax and then catch it in a net. Murder me! It screams? Be off my skin and eat me! Maybe hell cheese! Sweet Sue's canned whole chicken! <laughs> mm, I hope Marge likes my new skin! My dog sits awkwardly. I. 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 What? What, what am I looking at? I know it's a dog, comment section. I just. Why? <laughs> Excuse me, what? Y you didn't graft an ear to a- What? What is this? This fisherman with a deep sea wolf eel. <laughs> calm down there, buddy. I know you are the darkness. Let's just get you a Snickers, all right, so you can calm down. I spent way too long making that guy's bad Elon Musk drawing into a real thing. You are my hero, Elon. <laughs> Space, Mars, Bitcoin. These button plants, I, I can't pronounce that, look like creepy bloodshot eyes. <gasps> Forbidden gumball. Um, nom, 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 nom. Nori the Aussie Poo Mix has a very human-like face. The owners claim it's his big brown eyes and warm smile is what sets him apart from other dogs. I claim that's why he looks terrifying. I, I'm, I'm biased here because I love all animals, possibly more than people. So I think he's cute. He looks like a grandpa. I like him. Oh, somebody angered an elder god. Dang it, Jeremy. What did you do? Odds of a ceiling fan falling. 50%. <laughs> the mall's been empty for far too long, Timothy. We require a sacrifice. Dead raccoon hand gives life to fungus. I am intrigued and disturbed. Ah. Uh. No! No! No, you may not! Stop this! Oh, dear God, no. Oh, dear God, no. Oh, no, thank you. No, thank you. So my daughter just bought a house that was built in the 1800s. We found this and she threw it out. I got it out of the trash and let the games begin! <laughs> OP, you are a wonderful and terrible person. What is my purpose? You count. Oh, my God. God, this Iron Man remake is really weird. LAX photographed the same spot over an eight hour period. <laughs> Avengers, assemble. We call it the yeetening. Man, this Batman remake is really weird. The underside of a lily pad. I have actually seen these before. and the, this, I find that cool. I think that's pretty nifty. 50 plus remora fish living inside a whale shark's mouth. I don't know why, but it just unsettles me. It's just weird to me. It doesn't, it doesn't terrify me or anything. It's just weird. The truth about turtles. Turtles really have long legs, but they don't stretch them out until it's very late at night. And then they run about, racing over hill and field until morning comes. And then they curl them back inside their shells and crawl around again. Well, that was, uh, Tim Burton energy. Moldy cream cheese. Ew! Oh, oh, God. Oh, I feel sick. That was gross. Ah, uh, 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 I, what, what? Disney, where did this come from? The Dark Magic Kingdom? The mouth of an emerald boa. Uh, 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 oh, no, thank you. I wasn't aware some snakes came in a mole ninja variety. I don't, I, I don't know what this is, and I don't want to know. I, I, it's, uh, no, you just, no. I am fortunately prepared for this because I've seen it before, but yes, kind of horrifying. I don't get it, it's just somebody writing, oh God. Ah, ah. This is a guinea pig. I, uh, <laughs> what flavor of guinea pig? Cause I think there might be something wrong with it. Found in r slash dang, that is interesting. It's a pineapple from contaminated seed. C uh, contaminated with what? Sentience? This abandoned nuclear cooling plant. Oh, so that's where the next Silent Hill is taking place. Scientists have discovered that, on occasion, an octopus will punch a fish for no reason other than spite. Ugh, frick them fish. Honestly, kind of a mood. This root system of my Calathea. Calathea? 
That plant. These root nodules mean it's very healthy, but it's unnerving to look at. Uh, uh, why does it look like a decomposing bear head? That just me? That's just me? That just, oh, it's just me. Sculpture in Italian castle. I could not stop for death, so death went on vacation to Italy for a while. This is just a meme. This is, this is just a meme. I don't, I don't, uh. You've maybe already seen the, oh, I, I'm not even gonna pretend that, that type of shark, but now because it's abandoned at the bottom of the lake, it just became 10 times worse. Okay, apparently this was something I wasn't previously aware of and was blissfully ignorant and was very happy about it and you all have ruined that for me. This thing in an abandoned gas station near my house. Oh, thanks. Ha, ha, ha. Um, is there any gasoline left in the tanks? Oh, that's pleasant. <laughs> Oh, that went terribly wrong, didn't it? Infested spider tent. You know what? You know what? I don't need to, I don't need to look at that to know it's bad. I'm, sh I'm sure the image on the screen is very terrifying and we should probably throw a puppy up after this to, to make it better. Okay, okay, we're done. All right, next post. My aunt got a Google Home for Xmas and she already has Alexa. This morning, we were messing around with the Google Home and asked, okay, Google, what do you think of Alexa? And it answered, I like her blue light. And from across the room, Alexa turned on and said, Thanks! I'm scared. There is actually a technological reason to uh, how this could work, but I'm not going to reveal it. It's 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 just a tower. I don't, I, cool architecture? I don't get this one or I'm just too dumb or something. I, I don't know. This guy's panorama accident lines up perfectly with the trees. <laughs> Hello, I am Steve, Steve of the trees. <laughs> <laughs> I just made this funny. Oh, God. Oh. There is a company that makes special urns, and when light hits it, it'll cast a shadow of the person's face who is in the urn. A lovely idea. Absolutely terrifying. Although, you can make it look at whatever you wanted. So there's an opportunity for comedy here. Okay, all right. Um, didn't need a lake of hands. Uh, we did not need a lake of hands today, thank you. Uh, whoever ordered this, please, please return the lake of hands. Y'all have not been in enough bodegas if you have not been judged by a cat while shopping for groceries. Well, let's just open up this mantle for seven. Oh, okay, okay, all right, we're just gonna close this one. It doesn't need to be serviced after all. You know, it's so well done that I'm actually okay with it. Like, I, I know it's supposed to be terrifying, but my appreciation for the skill of it outweighs my horror at realistic Woody. Civilians taking care of zoo animals in their own homes during World War II. <laughs> <laughs> this is kind of wholesome. Terrifying, yes, but wholesome. Mmm, forbidden hairy ice cream cone. Ah, ah, I don't like this. My balance is bad enough as it is. A train after its boiler exploded. The front has become the spider. Literally listening to a song called Freight Train while recording this. Pray for me. This is a cat. N no, it's not. No, no, it's not. Oh, is this one of those? Oh, it's one of those hairless ones. Ah. My best friend IRL loves these things. I just, I don't understand. Why would you want a cat that looks like it was absent on the day fur was being passed out. A jaguar driving underwater to catch food. Oh, the cat. I'm t <laughs> not entirely sure what I thought a jaguar car would eat either. Uh, but yeah, that, that's pretty terrifying. Imagine that being the last thing you see from the bottom of the swimming pool. We ride at dawn. Make sure little Timmy here joins the army because if he doesn't, he's going to become a supervillain. Just saying, all of this is just perfect ingredients for an origin story. This mutant aloe plant found in an apartment complex window. Uh, I mean, I don't know what an aloe plant is supposed to look like, but that looks like something I'd, I'd like to keep inside the window. It, it can just stay there. Thanks. My nine-year-old daughter did this. I'm slightly concerned. <laughs> Is your nine-year-old daughter named Sid? D does she have any rockets? Hey, at least Osha is happy. She's using safety orange. Dare you? Dare you? Dare you? <laughs> This guy at a Starbucks reading the paper from 1963. The Detroit News, Kennedy dead. Actually, if these are originals, I have questions as to why he would bring them into a random Starbucks. That just seems like really rare. This picture in my doctor's waiting room. <laughs> oh, 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 that's terrible. Why did your doctor put you there? Oh my god! Nah, I've seen this before. This is fine. Face swaps really aren't that bad. This is this is okay. Found this at an estate sale, and I just had to have it. I'm sorry, you bought this willingly. You purchased this intentionally and brought it into your house. My god. Burn your house down now, because trust me, that thing is gonna cause way worse things. <laughs> I, I, I'm not disturbed by this, but the, the cat just looks shocked, and rightly as it should. A full face prosthetic mask that allows you to evade CCTV and 
and facial recognition. Okay, the eyes are truly terrifying, but this is a good idea. We all need to like pick a face. Oh my God, imagine this, but like Mark Zuckerberg's face and, and it's just used as the universal evade facial recognition mask. <laughs> Cause like non-consensual facial recognition, especially in public is just creepy and wrong and weird and I hate it. There's no good excuse for it. My snowman looked a, a lot friendlier during the day. It's cold out here. Why did you leave me outside? Uh, honey, Um, why is the snowman always outside every single window that I look at? And why is it always looking in? Is this the year I finally used chicken wire to make yard ghosts? Oh, that's amazing. The way my soul would leave my body if I even caught a glimpse of these. No, that's amazing. Oh, I love it. They're actually putting guns on robot dogs. And they didn't invite me. I want one. It has to be pink, though. Amazing Halloween costume. I, um, how many creatures do you encompass? We contain multitudes. Oh, okay, well, uh... Here's a Snickers. Thank you. The hallway leading to my room in my hostel. Oh, oh no, 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 no. This is gonna fill up with blood. It's it's like a really narrow version of the shining hallway. Nine-year-old son drew me a picture. Oh, they, 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 there's a lot of teeth, but I guess that's okay, but help me, help me, help me. Well, uh, your son certainly has a, has a gift. A titanium hip remains after cremation. Ooh, interesting. I should get a funny joke engraved if I ever get one. Nearly fell off my bike this morning and saw bad man looking at me. Then I realized it was a horse with a blanket. <laughs> Dilation pumpkins made by the hospital midwives. Ha 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 ha. No. I can't stop thinking about the fact that your tongue knows what everything feels like without touching it. Your phone, your couch, a tree, anything. Imagine licking your keyboard. See? Your tongue knows. I'm upset about this. You know, cat, I hate to tell you this, cat, but you could have been upset alone. And now the rest of us are also upset. Please stop. Why, why is there a bear wolf thing just like hanging out in the street? Like, am I seeing a grim? Also, why does the cat look terrified? These mosquitoes I killed today in front of my home. Ah, Florida. My daughter made this at school and it lives in my house now. Uh, uh. <laughs> this is actually a sculpture of pestilence before and after coffee. My school has these things to lock up insane people? Uh, what? This this doesn't seem right or legal, but this this is concerning. I would, uh, I would report this to the Department of Education, I think? I don't know. This cleansing face mask my girlfriend just bought. Uh, I'm not aware of any cleansing mask that uses light to cle- that looks like a tanning mask or something. I- I'm- no, I don't like this. I think this is how you enter the metaverse. Speaking of the metaverse, there's actually a, an amazing Twitter thread where somebody kept making his chin just longer and longer, and it goes on for quite a while. You should look it up. This jack-o'-lantern with mold growing from inside. Oh, okay, cool. I feel sick now. That's disgusting. It's like steel wool, but, but alive. Happy sun. <laughs> Wasn't this during the eclipse? I remember there being like a phenomenon where if you you, you did something, you, you'd end up with sort of a smiley face thing. There is a mutation in frogs where their eyes grow on the inside of their mouth. What in the... Okay, all right. This isn't... This, this is r slash thanks I hate it. This is not oddly terrifying. This is thanks I hate it because this doesn't make frogs any more powerful or dangerous or anything. In fact, it makes them less, but... Oh, I hate it. The Hendelum pecky, also known as the bleeding mushroom. Oh, that's gross. The center looks like strawberry jam. The outside looks like a fresh wound. And I don't like it. Neither does my voice, apparently. Turned my head after feeling a nudge on my foot. No. Thankfully, a bit of my sandwich made us friends. Oh! I can't tell if that's a raven or a crow, but but feed both of them. They remember you and will we'll be friends. I think ravens are slightly bigger, but I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not a birdieologist. 10-19-19, my trail camera captured a strange image. The previous owner's ashes were spread on our property. Alright, I'm, uh, I'm not gonna hate on this one, actually. Only because if somebody lived there their whole life or it was their final home and they didn't have time and they stole the property, etc. and didn't have time to spread the ashes, I'd let them. I'd, I'd just let them. If you want to return to the earth on the land that you lived on, that's totally fine by me. The the, the live action of Donald Duck and Friends looks kind of weird, guys. Uh, I'm getting kind of bad vibes from it. Instead of carving the jack-o'-lantern myself this year, I poked a bunch of small holes in a pumpkin and stuffed the holes with peanut butter. I then let the squirrels go at it for two days. 
The result is something truly disturbingly. Uh, yeah, I, yeah, I'd call that disturbingly too. All I can hear from it is, kill me, kill me. This is, this is just cool. Is this like a lamp or, or a costume or something? This is, this is awesome. No, I like this. It's, it's just a ton of rain. But why, why, why is this oddly terrifying? Why is this an oddly terrifying? This is awesome. Camera in a furniture screw. Yes. If you don't think you can put a camera somewhere, you can. Cameras and camera sensors have gotten horrifyingly small. Bought my daughter a phone not too long ago. She sends me stuff like this. Oh, okay. Um, did you keep the receipt? Not for the phone, for her. Warning. If warning siren sounds, immediately leave area, go uphill 200 steps. Okay, I had to look this up because I was really hoping for some sort of weird government site or like an old Cold War thing. That kind of stuff is my jam. But anyways, it's some sort of reservoir or water thing. The water apparently, if the siren goes off, will flood the area 50 feet from where it currently is. I'm going off like an iFunny image and like some random Google searches, but apparently the sign is common enough to be sold at sign stores. So inconclusive, but probably some sort of pump station or something that I was hoping it was going to be something more exciting. What the Awakening statue in Maryland looks like normally and what it looks like today. Oh, I mean, it looks pretty disturbing both ways. In one case, he's being eaten by sand and then he's being eaten by water. Right, he could just be floating on his back and having an existential moment. You know, that happens. These fracking things in a wave pool. I'm a growing hours man and I still can't swim or dive anywhere near those mother frackers. The, the water intakes? I mean, to each of their own. I, I'm afraid of weird stuff too, but like, all right. I grew up in, in so many pools and stuff that the, the kind of stuff that doesn't scare me. I don't know. Nobody. Me. Ever think about this? Hamburger Helper is a really happy skeleton. <laughs> he looks so happy. He just wants to bring joy and, and flavor to hamburger everywhere. Oh, that is a uh, fresh hell. No, you call that a railway? I call that a set piece from like Tomb Raider. Oh, yes. <laughs> the jar of eyes. Those who drink from it lose, lose their sight because it's probably like 600 year old wine. I don't know what this is. I don't care. Kill it. I never want to see it again. That. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Dude, this is just a funky Eiffel Tower. I, there's nothing wrong with this. More buildings should dance around. A Kellogg's worker on strike. Oh. <laughs> uh, what are your demands? I'll pay you anything you want. The lamprey we study in zoology today. Oh, God. Right, that's that's basically the dune monster. But real. No thanks. I don't nature. My daughter's bat morse suit. <laughs> this is the best thing. Oh, I've got to need one. Oh, it's unknowably terrifying, but it's perfect. Deja vu area. This is your first time here. If this platform feels familiar, immediately alert an MTA employee. If you see something, say something. Welcome to New York. The tooth fairy concept has always been oddly terrifying to me. Think about it. Art by me. Oh, well done, Jestra Bova. <laughs> I can smell teeth everywhere. One of the most frightening things I've ever heard is when someone pointed out the existence of the uncanny valley implies that at some point there was an evolutionary reason to be afraid of something that looked human but wasn't. Oh, oh, I don't like that. Oh, I don't really don't like that. At one point we saw something and we thought it was human and it was not. It was the tooth fairy. <laughs> Sounds stupid, but I was driving through rural Texas and had to pull over and calm down because the long road of nothing changing was starting to give me anxiety. Dude, honestly, in the dark? Yeah, same, man. I'd have to pull over and puke a couple of times. That's just terrifying. And in Texas? Weekly World News. Boy captured by explorers two miles underground. Bat child found in cave. His giant eyes see in the dark and his ears are better than radar, says scientists. I actually got to see that in a store once. I love those old tabloid covers. My eyes currently filled with blood after a bronchoscopy yesterday afternoon. No filter. Oh my god. <laughs> Whether or not that's a normal side effect of what happened, it still just makes me feel... Like, that shouldn't have happened, you know? What in the hell's going on? Are you transforming? A whale skeleton found in the hot dunes of Egypt. Repost from r slash be amazed. What? Wait, what? No, I need to... What does this imply? What does this mean for the world of science? Chicken wing. All right, well, let's see. Ugh! That's not oddly terrifying. That's violently horrifying and disgusting. That doesn't belong here. Close-up shot of a human eye. That's not oddly terrifying. That's just cool as hell. I mean, the eye certainly is one nifty organ, isn't it? Too bad mine are terrible. This toenail I cut off of a dog yesterday. Oh my god, why aren't people helping their poor dogs? How long was that growing? Why did she buy this doll? Do you really want to know? Because I don't want to know. I just want the doll to leave my vision 
and never return. My little sister has an obsession with cutting the faces off of baby dolls or stuffed animals and putting them on other dolls. Help! Yeah, she might actually need some help, but don't ask Twitter for it. Get some real help, just in case. I recently learned that volcano snails exist. Their shells are made of iron, and they live around hydrothermal vents that can reach up to 750 degrees Fahrenheit. Has scales, lives around extreme heat, protected by iron. That's a dragon. No, that's a pretty high-level monster. None of us can take that sucker on right now. We gotta grind on boars. Imagine doing a court illustration of this bitch while she stares directly at you and draws you right back. This feels like the type of publicity she shouldn't be getting. He's a messy eater. So am I. Oh my god. Wow, he's, uh, he's a next-level messy eater, dude. Look at all that collateral damage. What's his problem? This fungi resembling an alien hatching from an egg. Oh god, wait a minute. I've seen that thing before. Before. I can't remember what it's called, though. You know what? In the comments, what is this alien fungi called? The largest animal to ever fly. Yeah, look at the size of that monstrosity, dude. I can't even fathom it flying. Look at the size of that head. Oh, well, that's just a house centipede, dude. Doesn't mean it's okay that you're seeing it, but it's not really gonna do much to you. It just looks like death. Looks like death, acts like a little creepy angel. Was playing video games when I heard a sound to my left looked over and saw this. Huh! Well, out of all the things I was expecting to see, it wouldn't have been a bear. I don't know. Maybe player two is about to enter the game. I did not know that lemons were cannibalistic. Hmm. Let's go play in the forest hole. Excuse me, let's what? Let's go. Oh, oh, the forest hole, right. Um, where's the forest hole located again? I just want to make sure I know so I don't ever get near it, you know what I'm saying? This hideous cutaneous horn on my finger keeps growing back, then dropping off, then growing back again. It hurts like hell. Is there nothing that can be done about that at all? I've never seen something like that happen. What in the world? You know what? It might be worth just taking the top of your finger off, you know? My hospital room. Uh, by the way, I'm a fully grown adult. Huh. I'm getting major Raccoon City vibes here for some reason. Specifically Raccoon City Orphanage vibes. I wouldn't want to be in that hospital room either. He knows your sins. Never speaks, but always judges. Well, maybe he should mind his own business. Yeah, get out of here. You look like a pillow. Who are you to judge me, man? I could get something like you at Build-A-Bear workshop. That one time my Michael Sarah comforter got stuck in my laundry chute? <laughs> Excuse me, your Michael Sarah comforter? You want to run that one by us a couple dozen more times. This Elmo arrived in the mail like someone in the Sesame Street Mafia was trying to send a message. Yeah, and I hope that message got across. The way this fan melted. Oh my lord, what in the hell happened here? Wait, let me guess. It's Phoenix in the summer, right? <laughs> All right, <laughs> my jokes are off the charts today. The world's most modified man wants to look like a black alien. He's cut off his ears, nose, and two of his fingers in order to make his hands look like claws. Oh, he also had his tongue split and got tattooed from head to toe. He's gotta be independently wealthy. Uh, I would imagine so. Look at all that crap, dude. Just the tattoos alone have gotta be in the tens of thousands of dollars, man. What does this guy do for a living? What did he do before? And what the hell does he do now, man? Today, we received a letter from a recently convicted murderer in the United States written from jail. He killed his housemate. It was to our address, but wasn't meant for us, as it talked about stuff that was irrelevant to us. There was no name on the envelope or letter, just our full address. Alrighty then. Um, I want to let the jail know about that? Alert. To residents or occupants, Boca Chica Village. Alright. SpaceX will conduct space test activities on November 10th from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m., approximately 10 minutes prior to the activity. You will be provided notice by the sounding of a police siren in the village. There may be more than one instance during that time period where you will hear a siren notification. There is a risk that a malfunction of the SpaceX vehicle during these activities will create an overpressure event that can break windows. Therefore, in order to protect public health and safety, it is recommended that you consider temporarily vacating yourself, other occupants, and pets from the area during the space test activities. At minimum, you must exit your home or structure and be outside of any building or your property when you hear the police sirens which will be activated at the time of the space test activity to avoid or minimize the risk of injury. Thank you for your ongoing cooperation. That one is oddly terrifying, isn't it? This person goes door to door every day, inviting people to have a picnic with her. Um, 
Uh, <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. That one got me. Children's Playground in Dallas, 1900. Damn. And we say things haven't improved for the children over the last 122 years. I say 122 because it's almost 2022, sue me. 300 million years before dinosaurs, the sea was rich with crinoids? Crinoids? Whatever. Just like this one. Ah! Well, let me tell you. I'm glad it's not anymore. Kenneth Copeland, the only person I would believe that if you kill him, the murder scene burns around you and he transforms into Satan. Yeah, that man is not a man. He's a fucking lizard person. And <laughs> he's gonna be welcomed in hell with open arms. Oh, that dog, dude. I mean, the kid in the back is pretty creepy. What is up with that smile, man? Has this photo been altered in any way? It's the only one to send shivers down my spine. Get that demon out of my face. I want a girl who looks at me like Bezos' girlfriend stares into his soul. Ugh. <laughs> Why? The first image of another solar system. Sorry, I'm just staring intently. I don't like it. Woke up with four random tiny cuts on my finger. I don't have any pets, if that's what you're thinking. Huh. Well, that's rather unique. Sometimes I wake up with scratches on my face. And no, my bedroom door is closed. The cat can't just sneak in here and fuck me up. I have no good explanation for this. Found three hours into deep forest, 20 feet in the air, and impaled on a tree, hours away from major roads. Huh. Well, ain't that just a thing right there? It's actually a kick-ass truck. Makes me kind of sad. It's just impaled on a tree somewhere. A soldier's face after four years of war. He aged like 12 years, man. A webcam appeared in the bottom of my computer screen after it blue screened. What? Ugh. No, 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 no. Always use a webcam cover. Do not hold on to memories of life. They will be distorted and inaccurate. Do not try to put yourself back into your dead body or any other living ones. You will be frightened. Oh, I'm frightened now, actually. Ah, the moss monster of the Hundred Acre Wood. Hmm, delightful. A painting bought from a psychiatric patient. Ah, oh, that's going to be absolutely tame and not concerning at all. And I was... No, you know what? That's not actually that horrifying. I mean, aside from the fact that those babies that they're carrying look like Among Us creatures. Oh my god, is this from, like, the creator of Among Us or something? The Evil Empire Comcast HQ looming over Philadelphia. You know, this just really gives me vibes of City 17 and Half-Life 2. You achieve that distinct dystopian look, Comcast. An image created by an AI with keywords, abandoned prison covered in fog. Made by an AI, wow. Oh, I dread the day when art is automated. But also, I'm so curious about the final product. A forest near our house. I don't see what's terrifying about this at all. I see a beautiful bunch of trees all around. Oh, oh, there's Slenderman. Never mind, bye. Restaurant glitch. Huh. Whoa, okay, yeah, now this is just trippy. How did, what AI system even and cause this to make a possibility of happening. Though you know what? That pizza is curious. Hmm. Octopus babies inside of their eggs. Oh, that's not terrifying. That's adorable. The only terrifying I see is with W's instead of R's. Shaquille O'Neal drinking a regular sized water bottle. God damn, so what, like a tiny cup? I mean, I knew the dude was big, but I didn't, wow, I didn't realize he was this big. Oddly terrifying by Dragon Bibin, a young Serbian illustrator. I apologize for butchering your name. So hopefully I don't butcher the beauty of your artwork. You know, I sometimes wonder if the gift of dog's hearing is somewhat more of a curse. At least I'm completely ignorant to the horrors that are outside. But this doggy, he can hear them. He can hear them laughing. Got home late last night and fortunately saw this before I tried to unlock the door. Don't be a freaking spider. Don't be a freaking spider. Don't. Don't be a spider. <laughs> no! I don't have a fear of spiders, but if they're close to me, I'm, I'm doing my kung fu. I am Neo from the Matrix. Are those eels? Nope, it's just the Animal Kingdom's visual display of a girl's Instagram DMs. Geranukes or giraffe gazelles make me extremely uncomfortable. Oh, wait, wait, what is this anatomy? This proves it. God made us all using spore. All eyes on me. I'd work by, well, me. Oh, very nice, but I prefer ignoring the reality of what biblical angels would look like. This triggers some sort of primal fear in me, despite being so beautiful. Oh yes, absolutely majestic, but let's be honest, us human beings uh, we'd kill this thing. Oh, absolutely. I mean, assuming it could even 
be killed. Back in 65, the security was only God's will. Yeah, wow, okay, no, no wonder her religion was so prominent back in the day. It's like literally all they had to feel somewhat safe around their lives. Children on a school bus dressed for Halloween. Yeah, okay, to be fair, when you make it grainy black and white, of course it's gonna look somewhat creepy. Especially when Bugs Bunny is looking at me down in the corner there. That, no, no. X-ray of a hammerhead shark heath. It just looks goofy, man. Come on. It's like he's trying so hard to think of the answer to what's one plus seven. It's just caused his brain to expand sideways. Whatever the hell is happening in this Catholic church, I walked by at midnight in rural Nova Scotia in Canada. Hey, times are tough. We need to rent this space out at nights, okay? Besides, it's nighttime. God's asleep. He, he won't know. A pool with holes. What? Why? Why? I personally don't want to experience the life of a turd as it's flushed down the toilet. An image created by an AI with the keywords, an abandoned house, an advanced computing thinking machine, or just a really drugged up human. I mean, you couldn't make a cute abandoned house in the middle of the day. No, it just had to be in the middle of the woods. This human looking dog. <laughs> no, I'm... <laughs> It's the lips. It's the bottom lip. That's what's screwing it up. It, do, it does not help that he has such a straight neutral face too. Please? No. At least have some expression. It's like I'm trying to make a joke, but it just doesn't find it funny. It's so insulting. Um, you know, I've seen many things out there in the world, but this. Cash using his ears as wing flaps to control his speed. Violets doing far too many lat pull downs rather than leg squats. Reaching out for their father, who has the lips of a dog that has a human face. But of course, then there's Jack-Jack, who's clearly developed a growth deformity where he still looks like a baby but has managed to absolutely eviscerate his pants. This right here, it horrifies me. Someone put red laser eyes on the Gandhi statue in San Francisco. Oh, looky that, you unlocked a secret boss fight. Careful, that stick turns into a nuclear warhead. This corridor, man, this is gonna haunt me on dreams. It's like you can only comfortably walk diagonally if you fit a certain size. Ugh, even buildings these days are perpetuating physical standards. Searched up my name and this this appeared. Oh, look, it's your, what, family? Yes, I'm sorry you had to learn that this way. You come from a long line of buck teeth people with uh, wooden stakes for hands. We were vampire hunters. Just wait when night falls. Oh yeah, that looks gorgeous come the sunrise. But come that nighttime, I am shutting all those curtains. <laughs> Ugh, they have to be manually done too. Why can't you just get some electric blinds? Just feeding the mosquito population. Stop it, no, uh, uh, uh. I can only imagine the horrifying itches you will be experiencing. You know, that actually is a good mathematical equation. How many mosquitoes does it take to suck a human off dry? Now, you know what? I'm actually going to Google this. Okay, so it turns out it takes 1,200,000 mosquitoes, each sucking once, to completely drain the average human of blood. So there you go. Pretty certain that is not even, like, a large percentage of the mosquito population too, so, uh, let's just hope they don't unionize. This painting at my high school. Oh, <laughs> Oh, and it's drooling. Oh, I was inspired by my baby brother having a bubble bath. Yeah, that's it. It's just the hot steam giving the baby that face. The mutated piglet from Chernobyl. Oh, no way. It was actually real? Oh, damn. That's... Uh, that is horrifying. Wow, I... I both can't stop looking, but also do not want to look. Walked past the playroom, nearly pooped myself. <laughs> oh, honey, quick look! Our baby's become ethereal for the first time. I was told to post my most recent project here. Oh, wow, wait, that is delete this. Please delete this, please. Um, d dude, I'm answering questions for Google Photos. Now this one. Is clowns one of the main subjects of this video? We may have detected them. And what are the actual frick? That was just a video of rain! I was just filming the rain! Sphinx cat in shower. Oh, it's definitely gonna be happy. It is gonna be so cheerful. <laughs> oh, it is, <laughs> it is not having a fun time! Release me, human! A hedgehog skeleton. One of the worst possible combinations out there. Bony and stabby. No, wait, hang on. So its entire oval shape is actually the bone, not just the single little thorns. That is, wow. That evolution's weird, man. That's it's cool, but so weird. My daughter's handmade mask for Halloween this year. It was cute before the red paint and a smiley face. Very clever work, little girl. Now when you add more red paint from your victims, they'll just think it's part of the costume. Strange square hole in the cloud cover. Oh, oh please don't tell God. Oh no. Oh, I broke the ceiling. Oh, jeez. Don't tell God. Hey, what, what's that chicken doing? Someone shut him up. Shut up that chicken. 
Good morning, my adorable doggy. Good morning, master. Abandoned town in Turkey. Well, I'm not surprised. Americans eat those things en masse yearly. Of course no one's gonna want to live in them. Yeah, what? These are abandoned? Look, what? I was expecting like rectangular blocks and just overgrown grass all over the land. No, no, instead we got the freaking Disney princess castles. Just copy and paste it all over the hill. Now it's our turn. Thermodynamics and statistical mechanics. Introduction. Ludwig Boltzmann, who spent much of his life studying statistical mechanics, died in 1906 by his own hand. Paul Ehrenfest, carrying on the work, died similarly in 1933. Now it is our turn to study statistical mechanics. Jokes on you, I was feeling that way. Anyway, let's go. My belly button attracts a lot of comments. Uzumaki. Look at me. AI photos. I'm in this sub now. Yeah, what if the AI doesn't want to improve? What if it enjoys striking terror and confusion into its viewers? Thought someone was watching me. Uh, zoom in to see a bit better. D I don't know if I want to. Oh, yep, I see it. Oh, that is... <laughs> Gotta say, they look like adorable anime cat eyes. But considering it's behind that space, I am... Um, yeah, it's still terrifying. Uh, this exists. God, I... <laughs> I literally got a phone call all of a sudden the moment I looked at this image and it scared the hell out of me. Hello, Nightmare. I'm having a great day. How are you? Abandoned 2,900 foot tunnel built in 1916. Yeah, probably because they came across Mr. Nightmare phone caller here and are cleverly noped out of construction. How lovely it would be to witness those people first laying those bricks at the front, beginning such an expedition in construction and let them know that it's going to be a complete waste of time. Speaking of things that become a waste of time, the Belgian Blues extreme lean, hyper-sculpted, ultra-muscular physique is termed double-muscling. It is an inherited condition resulting in an increased number of muscle fibers, hyperplasia, instead of the normal enlargement of individual muscle fibers, hypertrophy. Whoa, booty so thick! Oh lord! Have mercy! So like, how many injections of creatine is that, bro? Is it like, what, like 12 grams? I'm just asking for a friend. The Goomba animatronic from the Mario Brothers movie after 20 years of decay. Oh, oh, ah, ah, yeah, it's even worse. Even worse. Who would willingly shower with this nightmare? Hey, look, I have feelings, okay? Oh, wait, wait, so wait, the water comes out of its no- Why is the tap there? No, never mind, I see the shower head is on his bow tie, but still, no, that the tap there, I don't like that. I don't like that I have to make it somewhat erect to use the water. This eerie sign in an underwater cave stopping divers from going any further. Oh, what a friendly and welcoming sign. Stop. Prevent your death. Go no farther. Fact. More than 300 divers, including open water scuba instructors, have died in caves just like this one. Fact. You needed training to dive. You need cave training and cave equipment to cave dive. Fact. Without cave training and cave equipment, drivers can drive this. God damn it. Divers can die here. Fact. In fact, it can happen to you. There's nothing in this cave worth dying for. Do not go beyond this point. I really have to wonder how many people had been dying for them to actively put up a sign deep in the water. Dog with three legs scratching his back. Oh my god, we get it. Your dog has a big t Oh, what? Oh no. Oh, right. You mean that in the sense of three legs? I was, yeah, my mind was not in the most appropriate place for this to, wit to witness. Ah, uh, this is Decapitate a dog, that's what it is. A shaved husky. It has all its limbs, right? It's not decapitated. Oh good, you know, I, I can be fine with this after the last image. I, I'm fine with it. Not as horrifying as the gazelle giraffe. <laughs> the gazelle giraffe. Jack. Sorry. Jack. Words, what? man. What, where do they go? Sorry, I don't know. Seriously? Who is that? No. Oh, Far out. What? It's just a man in a bunny mask. Why did that literally make me go cold in fear? It puts, it puts Pants on, man, Jesus.